guys, hope your week's going well. My week's going very well indeed. Um, got home today to find a package waiting for me. And here is the, uh, the package in question. Um, now last week, uh, Chris from Grain to Glass said that he was going to send me up a little, uh, a little something. Um, but I didn't think it was going to be in a box quite this big. So thank you very much for this, Chris. I really do appreciate it. Um, for you guys that um, don't know Chris, Chris runs the Grain to Glass uh, online homebrew uh, website, homebrew shop website. Um, it was formerly um, Wagon Brewing, so Chris is just going the pro through the process of changing over to Grain to Glass. So yeah, so here's the here's a little box, or say little box, big box that Chris sent up. So thank you, Chris. And I thought I'd just um, open it up on camera and show everyone what's inside. So first thing on the top, and I knew that Chris was getting these done, but this is the first time I've seen one. He has had some very cool grain to glass um, t-shirts made up. That's fantastic looking logo there, Chris. And on the back it's got the, the website there, www.graintoglass.co.nz. In fact, before I go any further, I will quickly, through the magic of uh, editing, we'll put this on before we carry on, so I'll be back in about two seconds. Okay, we're back, so there you go. Fantastic, looks great, fits perfectly. So thank you for getting the right size to me, Chris. I do appreciate it. So yeah, what a fantastic start. So we'll uh, have a look at what else is in the, uh, in the box here. So next up is a beer that Chris said he was going to send to me. Um, it's his Misty Mountains Hops uh, New England IPA. So what I might do is once again, I'll stop the camera, we'll get this into the uh, fridge or freezer to cool down for a bit, and then we'll come back and we might crack that while we go through the rest of the box. So here we go again. Okay, we're back. We are about half an hour down the track, so I'll put this it was pretty cold already because it's winter here, but I put it into the fridge for a little while just to cool down. So a nice little hiss off the top. Let's pour it up. Now, this is my first New England IPA, so I'm going to be busting my uh, cherry with this one, Chris. And as I was expecting, it's um, super hazy just to keep, in, keep with the style. So Chris has sent me some information on the beer, so what do we got? So it's Marisota, wheat, oh, something collapsed, all right. wheat and oats, hops are Columbus for bittering, then Amarillo, Galaxy and Citra, yeast is WLP644, fermented at 26 degrees to give a pineapple flavour. Now I had to look up the yeast, um, I think it's called, oh here we go, Saccharomyces brux, brux al, al, alenis troy, or I think it's Brett Troy for short, so yeah, totally, totally new to me, I haven't had, um, no, nothing about that yeast or the style that much, so cheers guys, cheers Chris, we'll, uh, oh wow. Man, that is super hop, super hoppy on the nose. Wow, Chris said it was hoppy, and he wasn't wrong. There's, there's truckloads of like tropical fruits and mango, pineapple, which I think Chris mentioned. You get a lot of that character from the yeast. Wow, that is a real. The only way I can really describe the aroma is like if you had a, you know, a um, bowl of mixed fruit, you know, in those punch bowls, um, or fruit salad, that's the one, and just sort of, sort of put your face in it and, and just inhaled everything you could. It's just like that. It's super juicy, super fresh, super hoppy. I'd have to say that's probably one of the biggest uh, hop aromas I've ever had off a beer, to be honest. That smells fantastic. So what I might do, before we go in for a taste, we'll just go through uh, what else is in the box here. 
So also Chris sent up um, a glass from Gabs. Now I went to Gabs this year and the year before and on both occasions I've forgotten to take my Gabs glass home with me. I've put it down and it just walked out without it so I think Chris has taken pity on me and he's hopefully not sent up his own his own one or his only one. So thank you thank you very much for that Chris. I'll definitely use that. Well, let's get a taste on this. Wow, that's really intense. And on the flavour, it's once again, it's just really super. You guys that had any, um, New England IPAs will know it's just super juicy, super fresh, super intense hop um, aroma and flavour. Yeah, there's everything. There's tropical fruit, there's citrus, there's that mango, that pineapple. Wow, that is fantastic, Chris. I'm pretty sure you'll be pretty stoked with um, with that beer. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's unlike pretty much anything else I've, I've had. I can't really compare it to anything else. The oats give it a real nice mouthfeel. Quite a big hit of um, bitterness up front. Sort of like if you bit into um, like a fresh grapefruit or something like that, you're getting that on the tongue. Um, yeah, carbonation is good. Wow, that is fantastic. Really, really pleased um, I got a chance to try that. Wow, that is really good. I think this is the beer that Chris has brewed up for a competition down where he lives, so good luck with that, Chris. I think you've got a really good shot with this beer. That is absolutely brilliant, mate. I'm trying not to drink it too fast, so I'll put it back down and we'll go through the rest of the box here. Okay, and lastly, but very importantly, Chris has sent me up one of his um, one of his pre-packaged uh, recipe kits. So this is for Yakima Scarlet, which is a Liberty Brewing um, clone. So there's all the grain there, and then in a separate bag, um, Chris has got all the all the different hop editions. So all marked out with the times. Um, the yeast, brewing salts, even some, even some stickers, and um, some really comprehensive um, instructions as well. So thank you very much for this Chris, I really do appreciate it. What I thought I might do is, unfortunately both of my fermenters are full at the moment, but I'll, um, I'm planning probably in two Two, between two and three weeks, I will brew up this kit for Chris. Um, I think he wants some feedback on it, and also, also you know, a video. So we'll, uh, yes, yeah, so I thought grain to glass. I'll do that, um, in keeping with the with the name of the business as well. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, thank you again, Chris, for totally blown away with everything. What do we got? A t-shirt, glass, a beer, and a and a kit. So. Life doesn't get much better than that. Now one thing before I go, I hope you don't mind Chris, I had promised that I was going to do this for the last couple of videos and that was to do a big shout out um, to uh, a Facebook group, uh, it's called World Home Brew Club and it's run by Jason aka J-Man, um, I said that I'd do a shout out to, to the Facebook group. And also Jason's got his own YouTube channel, um, Charmed Home Brewing and Sports. So I'll write the names on the screen and also I'll put links um, to, of course, Chris's channel, Grain to Glass, and to Jason's um, YouTube channel and also the World Home Brew Club Facebook chat page. So check them all out. Um, if you've got any questions, just sing out. 
And um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Like I say, I'm going to sit back and um, relish the last half of this beer from Chris. And try and work out what the heck he did to make such a de delicious beer. Okay, until next time, have a good week, and we will uh, yeah, catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Let's do a quick spin. I was showing up, but check out the website. <laughs>